Hey everybody, I'm Nick, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Holidays with the Housewife video. If you don't know what that video series is, it is my annual Christmas card making event, 12 full days of card making fun. Today I have a really, really special Christmas card for you. It is my Christmas Nativity concertina card. So when you mail it out, it stays nice and flat in a five by seven size, but then your recipient or whomever will pull the card out and it turns into this beautiful Christmas nativity scene. And the sentiment right here says, Oh, holy night. Isn't that beautiful? I hope they, here we go. Maybe you can see it with up against my shirt. All the different things. There's the three wise men, some animals, and then Bethlehem is right here. And of course, the um, Holy Family right here. I just think it's so beautiful. And like I said, it fold completely flat. The envelope continues the theme of the card. If you haven't yet, make sure that you hit like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any card making fun. And with that, let's get to it. Step 1. Get the free SVG cut file. To access my free file library, we're going to head to my website, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're going to head to the resource library tab. If you don't have access to the free file library, you can click get access. You'll fill out a form and then be emailed the password to enter. But for now, we're going to click enter the library, type in the password and click enter, and then you'll be brought to all the files. Now at the time of this recording, I do not have any of the Holidays with the Housewife projects loaded into my file library. So there is a graphic that is popping up right now that will tell you the design number of the project that you are watching the video for. So you will click that hyperlink and download the file onto your computer. Go ahead and unzip that file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step two, upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Okay, now that we're in a new project in Design Space, we're gonna head to Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer, and click Open, and then Upload. Highlight that image, and click Add to Canvas. Step three, convert score lines in any text. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit here. There we go. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is ungroup the design. We're gonna scroll down and find the envelope, highlight the score line, go up to operation, and change that to score. Then highlight the group and click attach. You're gonna do this for the other two layers that require score lines. Now we can head up to make it. And you'll see the five different mats for this project. Go ahead and click continue. I'm gonna use a heavier cardstock for this project. So it's going to require me to use a double scoring wheel. You can choose whatever material you'd like, but because this is a concertina fold, you're going to want probably a little bit of a heavier cardstock. Step four, cut out the design. Okay, for this project, you're going to need your light grip or standard grip cutting mat, the different cardstocks, your scoring wheel or scoring stylus, Cricut scraper, Cricut brayer, a weeding tool, and then your glue or adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and get everything cut out and I will see you when it's all done. Step five, assemble your card. 
Okay, now that we have everything all cut out, it's time to assemble. So we have our different card pieces, our um, mat and layer area, our text, and then our envelope. I'm gonna set our envelope to the side for now just so I have a little bit more room, and we'll come back to that later. Let's set this to the side too. Let's concentrate on the card base itself. So, a concertina card is basically, um, it zigzags. I'll show it to you when it's all done, you'll get a little bit better idea. But, first thing you wanna do is take this, this is the, the main, this is what this is gonna fit into, okay? So, um, everything will kind of branch off of this uh, five by seven right here, okay? So, first thing you wanna do is fold as a mountain fold this card, okay? So that when you close the card, the three wise men are going up a hill. Flip it over and burnish the fold. Now, see, yep, okay. Now, this little tab is what's going to connect these two pieces of card. And that one needs to be folded away from you. So you're making a mountain fold. See, mountain fold, okay. And then this, this score line right here is going to then be a valley fold. So if I hold it like that, you'll see the valley fold and then the mountain fold. I'm gonna burnish these. Okay. Now, once everything is connected, it'll kind of be like that. So can you see the fold there? Okay. So let's go ahead and attach the two together. Um, some really strong adhesive tape would be good here too. Not just glue, but I'm gonna make sure to add enough pressure to adhere the two together. And then you want to line up your edges here. And then make sure that you've lined up on the tab fold as well as on the bottom. Because if you're not uh, flush here on the bottom, it's not going to sit right when it's opened up. And this is the back of the card, so you're not gonna really see that once everything is open. Now, so we're gonna fold everything up just to show you. Okay, everything fits within that five by seven. So then when you open it up to display it, that's how it looks. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that like that to dry and we can work on our inside panel here. So this is cut out. This is not drawn on with the, with the Cricut. It is in four pieces. So my recommendation is to start with the word night. You can place it wherever you want in the card. You just have to make sure because you don't want the sentiment to be hidden by the three wise men here. So it needs to not be any further than that highest peak of the hill. So I'm going to use my tweezers. I think what I'm gonna do, I kinda like it to be in somewhat of the right hand corner. So I'm gonna start with the word night and then build on the O and the, o and the holy over the night once I get the night glue down.
Okay. Now, the uh, manger scene fits over the starry night, over the blue layer. Okay, and it fits perfectly. It should fit. Yep, all these edges fit. So, just flip that side over. Add your glue. stand this up to make sure that I get it nice and level on the bottom. Okay. Now, let's take our card here, and then this fits, center it, and fits in here, just like that. And that is it for this card, so it folds all up. And pull it out, and it can sit on a mantle or on a, on a tabletop, and I just, I just love it, it it's so um, visual. So I'm gonna set that to the side and let's go ahead and work on the envelope. Okay, for the envelope, we're going to go ahead and just fold along the score lines. Now take our inlay layer, add glue around the outside edge, and then around the cutout. Now place that over top, place the inlay over top. Okay, fold those side flaps in, add your glue to the bottom of the side flaps. and then bring up the bottom flap and press it into place. It looks like I missed a little bit of glue right there. That's better. And there's your envelope. So everything all folds up and then fits inside a five by seven. Isn't this so pretty? This card was inspired by one that my grandmother gave me several years ago. Um, I, I honestly don't know where she got it from, but it has stuck in my brain for years and I wanted to create my own version and I think that this turned out really, really well. If you make this card, make sure that you tag me in social media. Hashtag holidays with the housewife or hashtag bearded housewife. I would love it if you shared your Cricut cards with me in my Facebook group, Cricut Cards and Paper Crafts with the Bearded Housewife. There is a link in the description down below. I hope to see you at the next Holidays with the Housewife video. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.